first of all, the easiest one is to be able to find the alveoli, and this is the only place we really have a chance to test on it, so you know it's going to be there. Um, which are all these big sacs. All these white spaces are the, the space, and then all of these would be the little alveolar cells. They're one cell layer thick, so we can do really, really rapid gas exchange across their surface. Now, you also need to be able to tell the difference between a bronchi and a bronchiole. Um, bronchioles are going to be little and they will lack cartilage. Bronchi are going to be bigger and they'll have cartilage. So here is what the cartilage looks like. It's kind of been a while since we've seen it, but these are all examples of cartilage. That tells me that this is a bronchi. Now, if I look kind of off over, nope, so hold on. See this end over here, if we were to point, it looks the same, but now we don't have to see any cartilage. This is a bronchiole. So it's less about size because once we section, size is, gets fluty. So we don't want to worry about the size. You really want to look to see whether or not it looks to you like it has cartilage in the walls or not. Now the thing that complicates it is that in addition to the tubes that would be the bronchi and the bronchioles, you also have to be able to find the arteries and the veins. Notice the difference right here in this slide. We can see these thick internal layers that represents either a bronchi or a bronchial versus the arteries where the media is thicker. So make sure that you kind of check out the difference between those and often the arteries and the veins will have blood inside them so instead of seeming clear They'll be pinky inside, so if you see that, that's a dead giveaway that you're looking at either a pulmonary artery or a pulmonary vein. Now, even though we know that they're all wonky in terms of whether they're oxygenated or deoxygenated, their actual structure is correct. So the arteries, just like regular arteries, will have a thicker media and the veins will be much more thinly walled. Almost all of them, though, don't section real pretty. So. Um, so now we can't use like the whole, it, it'll be circular if it's an artery, it'll be oblong. So in order to really tell the difference, we need to probably get another layer in here to see if we can see either an internal elastic lamina or what we see. Go in one more. So what do you guys think? Do you see an internal elastic lamina? It's not glassy. I mean, you can see the layer, but it's not glassy like it was before. Yeah. This one is tough, but I would say given the, the amount of elastic we have and the amount of myo muscle layer, this is probably an artery. It's just gotten sectioned all funky. Let's go ahead and scan around and see if we can find a vein. They can be the hardest because they can look a lot like this might be one. That one's just that one's probably a, a vein because the myocardium so thin but I, I don't really like it so let's see if we can find a better one. They're usually going to be clustered close to these bronchi and bronchioles. Let's see what this bad boy is. <laughs> Nothing. Where'd it go? What's that? Artery. Yeah. So that one's real clear. You can see the big media. So we're finding lots of arteries as always, struggling to find veins. You do indeed have them, I promise. <laughs> this might be one. This looks like one. Where the hell did it go? Sorry. I know we're all tired. There we go. There's a nice vein. So you can see how thin Good the media wall. is, yeah. and there's no lamina. So that's what we're looking for. What are all the white spaces? Those are the alveoli again. So all of this crap is the alveoli here and there. Okay. Okay. So tell me, Dan, what's the difference between an alveoli sac and an alveoli? Well, we don't.
don't need to know it on this. You just need to be able to find an alveoli. Okay. All right.